how to create an extreme twirl effect using Affinity Photo's equation filter. To start with, a pixel layer filled with a gradient, could be an image, etc. Go to the Filters menu, Distort and Equations. Go for Polar. In the R field, type R plus bracket B times 1000 bracket. At this point, all you can see is an X in the middle of the image. Go to the T field, type C times 1000 plus T times SIN bracket R divided by bracket 100 times A bracket bracket. Change the constants if you wish. Go to the image and change the origin point of the effect. You should see the twirl effect. If you don't like that sharp divide, you can always move the effect over to avoid it. You can also go to the bottom of the panel and change the extend mode. Perhaps use mirror. You can also continue to experiment with A and B and C by changing the parameters in the middle of the panel. You can also add brackets around the entire T field. Put 2.2 times at the front of the equation or any other value. Select and copy that equation. I want to use it later on. The R field is quite easy to retype. Click apply. You can also use a selection. Go to the tools. Select the elliptical marquee tool. Select a small part of the image. Go to the filters menu and you can use the repeat equations. Or create a new effect. So go to filters menu, distort and equations. Set to polar. Go to the R field and type in R plus B times 1000. Go to the T field and paste in the equation. Set the origin point for the effect. Change the values of the A and B and C via the parameter settings. You can use this to create a very extreme twirl effect. You can also go to the bottom of the panel and change the extend mode. Use mirror or zero, etc. Once you're happy with your design, click apply. If you wish, you can change the selection area and apply the equation filter to that. You can also fade the effect as well as apply blending modes via the layer menu. You can apply the equation effect to any kind of shape, such as a circle. Go to the ellipse tool, create a circle. The circle can be filled with gradients via the swatches panel. Select the shape, go to the filters menu and distort and equations. You can use the same equation or maybe make some modifications to it. It's up to you. When the panel appears, you can see a little assistant appear. That will vanish after a few seconds. Set to polar, go to the R field and type in R plus B times 1000. Go to the T field and then paste in the equation again. Or just retype it. Set the extend mode to mirror, zero, etc. Experiment with the settings A, B and C via the parameters. You can also change the origin point of the effect on the image. It does not need to be on the shape itself. The circle is now distorted. Again, once you're happy with your design, click apply. It is just a pixel layer. You can duplicate it, you can apply filters, you can also apply layer effects. Go to the layers panel, click the FX at the bottom of the panel to bring up the layer effects panel. You can set 3D, bevel emboss, inner shadow, outer shadow, etc. Once you're happy with your effects, click close. You can always go back to the layer effects and add more and remove effects as well. You can transform the layer, you can rotate it, etc. You can also apply the equations of different gradients. You can also use images as well as text layers. Create a new layer, fill it with a gradient, go to the filters menu and repeat equations for a super fast twirl effect. Again, you can select an area and then repeat equations. Sadly, the equations filter does not come with presets. There is a workaround. Use the macro and library feature. Go to the view menu, studio and library and macro. Go to the macro panel and click the red button at the top to record. Go to the filters menu, distort and equations. Set the coordinates to polar. Type in the R field, R plus B times 1000. Go to the T field and paste in the equation. Set the extend mode as required. Change the values of the parameters A, B and C. 
The origin point of the effect will also be remembered by the macro, as well as the settings. Once you're happy, click apply. Go over to the macro panel and go to the button next door to the record and stop the recording. Go to the second button on the right of the panel. Click the add to library button. Select a category, give it a name, click OK. Open a new image or create a new gradient. Go to the library panel and click the macro entry. The extreme twirl effect will now be applied. The effect is now repeatable with shapes, text, standard layers. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo, so please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Please add a comment or two. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you very much.